We're going to be discussing all things keto, all things fasting. This is going to be a masterful video for you. So eliminate the distractions, grab a pen and paper, join me here. I'm going to be answering your keto and fasting questions. My name is Ben Azadi. I am the best selling author of three books, actually four books now, and I'm the founder of Keto Camp. Here at Keto Camp, we are on a mission to educate and to inspire 1 billion people on planet Earth. Let me know in the chat box where you're watching from. I'm here in beautiful Miami Beach, Florida, where it's a gorgeous day, nothing but sun in the sky. Let's do the nothing but blue skies and the sun in the sky is what I meant to say. So some of you submitted your questions beforehand. Every Wednesday, I'm live with you, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And in the community tab on here on the Keto Camp YouTube page, I ask you to post your questions. So I'm going to get to the first questions here. And what I want you to do for those watching right now, start posting your question in the chat box. I'm going to get to as many as possible during this live stream. First question came from Cynthia. Hi, Ben. Cynthia here from Canada. I've been trying to get the answer for this for a while. Does taking an estrogen block, blocker make it impossible for me to lose weight? Cynthia, I wouldn't say it makes it impossible for you to lose weight taking an estrogen blocker. First things first, always work with your doctor to make sure that you are working with them, letting them know what you're doing. Whenever you manipulate your hormones, it could change the way you lose weight. It doesn't make it impossible, but it can make it more of a challenge. So here's what I would recommend, Cynthia. Make sure the fundamentals of your protocol, your health protocols are optimize. So what do I mean by the fundamentals? And this is for everybody, not just Cynthia. If you've been doing keto and you've been struggling to lose weight or you hit a plateau, always revisit the fundamentals. The first fundamental of health is sleep. Sleep is important. Sleep is the Swiss army knife of health. I know it's not sexy to speak about. I know it's not fun to have to go to sleep but we require at least seven hours of quality sleep each night. So make sure Cynthia and everybody else, you're getting at least seven hours of quality sleep. You're going through four to five sleep cycles, keep the bedroom dark, keep the bedroom cold, have a nighttime routine and ritual. So once you master the sleep, then the body will start to burn fat because during Delta sleep, you're activating your fat burning hormones. Growth hormone is activated. You're repairing the body. The brain is shrinking in size via the glymphatic system during stage four sleep and you have this fluid that goes over the brain, cerebral spinal fluid, and it's activating this glymphatic system. And it's flushing out toxins, accumulated plaques and proteins, and you're burning fat. So number one is sleep. Second fundamental when it comes to health is actually not nutrition, but it's the thoughts that you think. We live in a world where there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of propaganda. So we want to make sure we're mastering those thoughts. Dr. Bruce Lipton has proven that your thoughts create frequencies. Those frequencies penetrate your cell membranes and it communicates with your DNA. And it tells your DNA to turn on specific proteins and genes. And those proteins could lead to inflammatory proteins or healthful proteins. So we want to make sure we master our thoughts, master stress, so gratitude, self-love, self-care, then you do clean keto. And I talk all about clean keto on this channel. So to answer your question, Cynthia, no, it's not impossible to lose weight with the estrogen blocker. Just make sure you're doing all the other things right and the body will lose the weight because how do we lose weight? We focus on health. Dr. Berg says it all the time. He's right. We don't lose weight to get healthy. We get healthy to lose weight. And it starts with sleep. It starts with stress. It starts with your thoughts. And then we eat those clean fats on keto. We practice fasting. Your body reduces inflammation and the weight comes off as a side effect because guess what? Nobody in the history of this world has ever had a weight problem. When I was obese, if you don't know my story, I used to be obese. I weighed 250 pounds back in 2008. I never had a weight problem. I had a weight symptom. Take care of the cause, inflammation, the side effect goes away by default. Next question comes from Katri K. Katri says, hi from Finland. I have severe gut issues and can't eat almost any veggies. What is your suggestion for flex days? I'm 49, perimenopausal, and I've been doing strict keto carnivore for over two years, trying to heal my gut and manage hormonal 
hormones at the same time. Thank you so much. Well, Katri, thank you for watching from Finland. Kudos to you for doing keto carnivore for two years. That is awesome. It sounds like you might have small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, SIBO. So do a test for SIBO. Usually cruciferous vegetables will flare up SIBO and also sugar alcohols like erythritol. So you might want to eliminate those for right now. So what are some healthier carbs for flex days so you don't get those flare ups? Fruit, fruit will be your best friend. So berries could be a great way to do it. Also more healthy proteins could be a way to do it on a flex day. Um, you could also take something like a trantile. I'm not sure if you could get out in Finland, possibly. It's available on Amazon, but a trantile, A-T-R-A-N-T-I-L could be a great thing to help with the bloating. And you know, I've, I've seen longer fast, uh, just for example, a 24-hour fast, and I wrote about it in my book, Keto Flex, a 24-hour fast, uh, MIT research has shown that just fasting 24 hours, just having water for 24 hours could reboot the gut and strengthen your intestinal stem cells. And then if you want to do a longer fast, two to three days to five days, you're really going to reset that gut. So that would be my recommendation. Uh, if you also, you could also take things like Ion Gut Restore by Dr. Zach Bush, collagen, bone broth. These are things that could also heal the gut and maybe some digestive enzymes as well. Next question comes from Noshin. Hi, I have developed keto rash on my face, neck and body, and can't get rid of it. I have taken a break from the keto lifestyle, but it hasn't helped. Will it go away? Causes, treatments, and symptoms. Okay, sorry that you're dealing with that. It's not common to get the keto rash, but it does happen from time to time. We haven't really figured out through research what is the root cause of the keto rash, but I'm going to hypothesize that it could come from two different areas. Number one, the keto rash could come from not enough protein. So I've seen having some of the members of my Keto Camp Academy increase their protein and the keto rash goes away. So have some healthier protein, animal-based protein, or it could be a toxicity issue because when you're doing keto, here's something very important for everybody, all you keto campers to understand. When you're doing keto, you're going to start burning your fat cells. We want that. You start shrinking fat cells, you start releasing fat cells, you start burning the fat cells. However, a lot of people well, all humans store toxins in the fat cells. So what happens is this, as we shrink fat cells, we burn the fat cells, we then release toxins and we can't burn those toxins and we end up auto intoxicating ourselves and it could lead to things like the keto rash. So some downstream things you can do for downstream detox, increase your bitters, bitters are better, bitter for the liver. That's gonna help your liver stimulate bile to break down fat and it also has a detoxification effect because a lot of toxins get bound up in bile. So bitters will be arugula, dandelion greens, apple cider vinegar. You could also have things like ginger, ginger tea, dandelion green, uh, dandelion tea, excuse me, even coffee, healthy coffee could be a bitter, artichokes, radicchios, radishes, lemons, limes, uh, rosemary, thyme, basil, these are all bitters that could help and you might want to also go upstream for some uh, true cellular detox methods, which I am actually taking a group in June, 15 people through a true cellular detox program for real detox. So if you want to learn about that, you could go to ketocampdetox.com and you can be one of those 15 people. So that should get rid of the, the um, keto rash and you should feel better almost immediately. I want to acknowledge uh, Makarari who just donated $10 to the Keto Camp YouTube channel. You're awesome. Thank you so much. She wrote, you're the best. Thank you. And she donated. So that's amazing. Thank you. That's so appreciated. I'm, I'm grateful for you. And thank you for doing that. Good to see you, Tara. Uh, good to see you on here. All right, next question. Uh, Mark Edwards, sounds like the keto rash was just, was just an excuse to stop keto. Well, we have two keto rash questions. That's crazy. I started keto on March 1st. I'm down 48 pounds. That's amazing. And never had any keto rash, flu, or any other of these things people use as excuses to quit. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. You, we don't want to give up because the issue is not necessarily keto unless you're doing dirty keto. The body, when the body heals, you might experience symptoms. And it might be a challenge at first. For example, when you start to go to the gym and you haven't worked out in years, it's going to suck at first. You might, it might feel uncomfortable. 
when you force a change, you might get symptoms. Just stick with it and start navigating, but you don't want to quit on the overall goal, which is to achieve health and to reduce inflammation. And keto is one of the best ways to do that. So you might need to change your game plan, but not necessarily the goal to get uh, to your results. Hey, James, good to see you on here, brother. Nada says, hi, Ben, just wanted to thank you for all the knowledge and continuing to educate. Just finished reading Keto Flex, and I'm hoping to get out of my stalled state. Thanks again. Oh, Nada, that's amazing. Thanks for reading Keto Flex. I so appreciate you. We have Christine in San Antonio, Texas. We have Herb and Spice Kitchen in London. We have Cynthia in Ottawa, Canada. We have Shannon in the house, Keto Camp Academy member. Valerie Austin in uh, Pasco, Washington. So Melanie says, I accidentally ate meat marinated in sugar last night at a birthday party. What's the quickest way to get back into ketosis? All right, Melanie, let's talk about that. The best way to burn down the excess sugar you had is to exercise. Burst training, uh, high intensity training, strength training is a best is a good way to activate what's called the GLUT4 transporters. The GLUT4 transporters will take that excess sugar and burn it instead of storing it as fat. That's one way to do it. You could also fast, you know, do a 16 hour fast today. You could also take things like C8 caprylic acid, which is an MCT oil. The cool thing about MCT oil is that medium chain triglycerides bypass digestion, meaning it does not require bile to break it down. It does not mix with stomach acids and it actually goes right into the your cells, into the mitochondria of your cells. So a lot of studies show that C8 caprylic acid specifically could actually double, sometimes triple ketone production. Caffeine also has been proven to raise uh, free to free fatty plasma acids. So maybe having some fasting today, but having some coffee with some C8 caprylic acid and exercising will be the best way to get right back into ketosis. Cornelia in the house from Kuwait, good to see you. Niha, good to see you. Monica says, I'm 47 years old, perimenopausal, need to lose 30 pounds. How many ounces of protein per day? Monica, so for protein, I like hitting about 40 to 50 grams of animal-based protein at each of your keto meals. That equates to eight to 10 ounces. So you wanna just aim for that at all of your meals, eight to 10 ounces of um, keto, of uh, protein, animal-based protein. Asiya says, hello, thank you for what you do. Oh, I just lost the comment, here we go. Do you know any doctor in Miami that will work with the keto lifestyle? Asiya, um, I don't. I don't know any doctor in Miami. I'm my own doctor. I'm a functional health practitioner. I order all my lab work. I review it myself. I work with a team of doctors, including Dr. Pompa, Dr. Mindy Peltz, and a few others. So if you're looking for somebody, if you want me to potentially do a consultation with you, I do that via Zoom. You don't have to be in Miami, but it's great that you are. So send me an email support at ketocamp.com and we could explore some options for you. Niha, what's the reason to be taking many, what can be the reason of taking many supplements but isn't working on my body? Yeah, so when we think about the body and the cells inside of the body, there are these receptor sites on every cell. Uh, actually happen to have this here, perfect question. So every cell, there's 70 trillion cells in the body. Every cell has these receptor sites. They're called integral membrane proteins. One cell has about 30,000 receptor sites, and they're integrated into the membrane, into the cells. So your hormones, nutrients, oxygen, and thoughts all connect to these receptor sites and tell your cells to produce a specific job. So let's say you're taking all the best supplements, nutrients. If there is cellular membrane inflammation, that's going to be very difficult to get the effect of those supplements. And I, I was there several years ago. I was taking all the supplements, spending hundreds of dollars, but they weren't doing anything for me because I had inflammation. It needs to get into the cell. And Dr. Pompa said, if you wanna get well, you gotta fix the cell. So doing clean keto will definitely help reduce inflammation. Fasting is a great way to reduce inflammation, but I don't know if you knew this, the number one cause of inflammation around your cells is actually toxins toxicity related, mercury, heavy metals, lead, pesticides, herbicides, that actually is the number one cause of inflammation. So I mentioned a little bit earlier that I'm taking a group of 15 people through a 90 day detox program. You can learn about that over at ketocampdetox.com. But keep doing clean keto, fasting, make sure your sleep is good, 
you're going to continue to reduce inflammation. Then those supplements could work better and you're going to burn fat because your fat burning hormones could get into your cells. The goal is to fix the cell. Um, before I move on to the next questions here, please hit the thumbs up button here on this video. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, and if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, hit the subscribe button and I'll and, uh, hit the bell so you're notified when I release a new video or go live. Kirk says, hi from Malta. Good to see you, Kirk and Malta. Lynette says, good morning, Ben. I'm feeling great, looking great. Please refresh what to do about loose skin. Never had this. Please share beneficial foods, fasting, exercise, causes, how to fix it. Thank you. Lynetta, I'm so glad you're looking great and feeling great. Congrats to you because you're taking action. So proud of you. I have a video on my Keto Camp YouTube channel, five ways to tighten your skin after weight loss. Alina, if you could, uh, Alina's part of the Keto Camp team, the wonderful Alina, if you could post that video in the chat box, that'll be great. But I'll just share a couple things from that video. Autophagy will, will be your best friend. Autophagy is that cellular repair, cellular cleanup process in your body activated through fasting and exercise and what's called synolytics, like specific ingredients and herbs. Autoph it's, it's thought that autophagy begins around the 16 to 18 hour mark of a fast. But doing longer fasts, three to five days, you get like a maximum autophagy effect, which could be beneficial with excess skin. I would also increase your collagen um, and also do some strength training to build some lean muscle, which can make the skin more firm. Those would be a few things I would recommend for you. Strength training would be the go-to exercise for that. And you would focus on compound movements. If you want to learn more about the best exercises to do, follow GC3 Fitness on YouTube. He's amazing. Thank you, uh, Alina, for those downstream detox tips. George Allen, good to see you, brother. I loved your post in the Keto Camp Academy Facebook group this morning. Shar in the house from Toronto, sending love and prayers to all of my friends in Canada and in the UK and Australia. Shar says, I ex also experienced keto rash. I believe it was the toxins. My liver was being liberated and had to go. It had nowhere to go. Some of us had higher toxic loads. I use bitters and bind and it's gone now. Great, great tip. Yeah, bind is part of my detox protocol. It's a great binder. Uh, it's from Systemic Formulas. If you go to ketocampsupplements.com and type in bind, you could see that. Monica, you're welcome. Uh, Ontario, hey, Mike, good to see you here. Christine Fuller, I have a high stress job and it highly, it really affects my glucose. I'm eating clean keto and try to only eat when my glucose is 95 or less. How, sh how much should I worry about stress-induced glucose? Yeah, stress is a chronic killer. It's estimated that 90% of all disease is from chronic stress. And when we think about stress, stress comes from three different areas. So you have number one, mental, emotional stress. Number two, physical stress. And number three, chemical stress. So number one, mental, emotional stress, it sounds like that's the majority of your stress right now. So I would recommend doing some gratitude journaling. There's always something to be grateful for. And whenever we appreciate something, what we appreciate appreciates. And what we send energy to in the universe comes right back to us. So love and gratitude, gratitude journaling, that's going to be important. Make sure your sleep is good. It's going to help you really become more resilient with that stress. And eat foods that are going to cause the least amount of glucose, even if you have higher glucose. So protein and fat, carnivore could be good for you. If you're doing, if you're very stressed out, you don't want to be doing too much fasting because fasting in itself is already a stressor, a hormetic stressor. But if you have too much stress, it could be too much. So you might want to scale down your fasting and increase your gratitude journaling. Let me uh, check my Facebook comments and then I'm going to get to some of the Instagram comments and then back to YouTube. Monica, good to see you. Kimmy, Carmel, Laura, David, Anjali. Let's see. Kimmy says, ever since I started my detox and fasting, I've gained two to three pounds since November. I thought it would be firmer and healthy by now. Kimmy, um, I would recommend, I don't know what kind of detox you're doing. There's so many ways to do, de do, to do de detox. There's only one way to do true cellular detox. But um, I would look at your body fat percentage and I would also get some inflammatory markers done and then see what where that's going. You want to make sure that goes in the right direction. So I don't know why 
you feel like you're gaining weight, it might be just the detox protocol is not the right protocol for you. Terry says, I'm still 30 pounds overweight. I lost 90 pounds. Incredible. I eat clean keto, NSNG, no sugars, no grains. Shout out to my friend Vinny Tortorich. Almost carnivore. Sleep is good. Cold room, etc. Blood markers are great. Easily fast for two to three days. I'm 63. I've stalled for 10 months. How much should I eat? I easily fast and I believe I may not be eating enough. Yeah, Terry, first of all, congratulations on your 90 pounds. I love your commitment. That's incredible. Uh, you need more flex days, keto flex days. So in my book here, I don't know if you've read it yet, Terry, but keto flexing is the way to go, especially for postmenopausal women. So that means one to two days, one to two days out of the week, you want to have higher healthy carbs. You want to teach your body to start burning glucose on that day and then flexing back into ketosis. So having a keto flex day could remind the body of an alternate fuel source and it'll ramp up fat burning. And then it'll remind your body that it's not starving and it'll give you an abundance. So you on that flex day, you want more carbs, about 100 to 150 grams of healthy carbs. You want more protein and you want to lower your fat below 30 grams for that day and no fasting. And you want a caloric surplus as well. That's what I would recommend for you. Carla Rose, can I take my thyroid meds after I drink my apple cider vinegar? Carla, that's going to be a question for your prescribing doctor. Um, I would get into trouble if I gave that answer for you. But ask your doctor and see if there's an issue there. Ben, can you please say again the thingy to take? Yeah, it's called a Atrantil. A-T-R-A-N-T-I-L. If you go to um, ketocampsupplements.com and type in a Atrantil, you'll see that pop up. Monica Urea, I started eating keto October, November of 2020. I lost 30 pounds from then to February. After that, it's been up and down the same two pounds. Do you recommend carnivore to push through this plateau? Already 24 intermittent fasting and OMAD. I recommend carnivore could be great. Uh, in my book, I have an entire chapter, which is pillar three of carnivore. So yeah, maybe doing 30 days of carnivore, but then we want to get to those keto flex days. If anybody's plateaued, this is very important. Anybody on here, you keto campers, if you, if you hit a plateau and you've been strict ketosis for at least three months, it's time to start flexing. The book talks all about that. It's a great way to ramp up fat burning and break, break plateaus and it supports your thyroid. So yeah, carnivore for 30 days and then keto flexing sounds like a great approach for you. CJ, good to see you. Brother, you're the best, man. Go check out Shift with CJ. He's got a great Instagram and great podcast. Gratitude journaling is a great way to reduce stress. Amen to that. Let me see some questions. Hey, Amanda, good to see you. Love, CA says, is there an adjustment period before the body starts burning fat when on keto and intermittent fasting? Will there be a weight gain first before losing fat? Yeah, so the way that I teach it in my to my Keto Camp Academy members, I teach them to not focus on weight loss in the beginning. Give it a good seven weeks because yeah, the weight will fluctuate for so many reasons. And it'll just drive you nuts. I'm somebody who used to always track the scale. So it can fluctuate for sure. How long does it take to get fat adapted? Now, I want you to all keep in mind, there's a big difference between fat adaptation and keto adaptation. Fat adaptation typically takes 14 to 21 days. That's the way I teach it in my first pillar. I outline that in the book. Keto adaptation, where now your mitochondria and cells are adapted to producing to uh, using ketones takes about eight to 12 weeks, which when we enter the flex pillar, you're in that protocol. So don't focus on the weight loss, focus on the health. That's what I would recommend. How much protein? You wanna hit about 40 to 50 grams of protein at all of your keto meals. Animal-based protein is preferred. That's about eight to 10 ounces. The book is not available on Audible right now, but I am in the process, right Shannon? I'm in, I am in the process of recording it. I've been going to the studio. I'm only 31 pages down. I got a, lot, a long way to go. So I'm aiming to have the book on Audible in June. It's quite the process. So kudos to all the authors there that read their own book. It's quite the process. Hey, I have a big announcement before I get to more questions. I have, and then I'm going to answer your question here. I have a huge, huge announcement. Are you guys ready for it? Let, let me know. Type in, I'm ready. I'm ready. You want to hear this announcement? Okay. For the last nine months... I've been working on a big, big project, and it's called my seven-day keto 
Kickstart Challenge. May 17th through May 24th, I'm going to take a group of you through a seven-day keto kickstart challenge. And guess what? This is completely free. I have already confirmed with guest speakers, Megan Ramos, Dr. Mindy Peltz, Cynthia Thurlow, Dr. Ben Bickman, Dr. Daniel Pampa, Thomas DeLauer, and a few others who are going to come on this challenge. I'm going to interview them for you, and I'm going to be doing educating for you as well in a private Facebook group. So you have to have Facebook. I know, I know that's difficult for some people, but it's a seven-day challenge. We're going to do two live streams every single day for seven days. You're also going to have the opportunity to win prizes. I have all these amazing companies who are donating over $10,000 worth in supplements and products and keto stuff. So this is the first time I'm announcing it besides the email that I sent out yesterday. And I see you're ready for it. You could sign up today by going to ketocampchallenge.com. Ketocampchallenge.com, we'll learn more about that. As a matter of fact, let me show you what it looks like here. Here is the page. When you go to ketocampchallenge.com, you'll learn more about it. It's 100% free. Uh, you just gotta put your, your information. So you learn more about the challenge. What you're gonna do is click the button. You're gonna put your information right there and you're gonna get signed up for it. It's gonna be, starts on May 17th through May 24th. So I want you all to go to ketocampchallenge.com. We already have hundreds of you who've signed up uh, as of yesterday. We expect to have thousands of you in here. I'm going to go through my four pillar keto fasting framework. I, I got to say, this is like the greatest thing that I've been working on. It took me nine months to get ready to launch this. So I really hope you take advantage of this. And I want to see you on here. Here are some of the companies that are sponsoring it. They're donating prizes. We're going to be giving away prizes at the beginning of every live stream. So how it's going to work is that every um, every day during the challenge, we're going to have a live stream at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. for those seven days. And you're going to be able to join the live stream. We also have an opportunity for you to become a VIP member to actually hop on the live stream with me and ask your questions. So I'd love for you to be on there. For those of you who already signed up, type in challenge. I want to know who signed up. Type in challenge in there. And let me get to some more questions. Ralph says, I could only get into keto after three to five days of water fasting. On my non-fasting days, I basically do OMAD with morning smoothie. My morning is low carb and I'm out of ketosis. Sounds like you might have insulin resistance, Ralph. So what I would recommend is to increase, to follow the 2222 2, 2, 2 rule. If anybody's having trouble getting into ketosis and you're fairly new to keto, the 2222 2, 2, 2 rule will get you there within seven days. How that works is every single day, you want to have two tablespoons of um, avocado oil or olive oil. That's the first two. Two tablespoons of avocado oil or olive oil. Two tablespoons of MCT oil or coconut oil. Two tablespoons of grass-fed butter or grass-fed ghee. And the fourth two is two teaspoons of sea salt. That'll get you into ketosis within seven days. All right, Jewelry joined, Susie joined. I love it, I love it, I love it. Ralph, you got it, brother, my pleasure. Um, let's see, let me answer some more questions here. Margie joined, Anjali joined, Monica joined. I love it, D is ready, Keto Cam Challenge, let's go. Please, I wanna do this challenge, I need to lose 40 pounds. Let's do it, Carla, you got it. Terry's ready. Cheryl, I know you are, you're in my detox program, you're doing amazing, I'm so proud of you. All right, so let me answer some more questions here. Just got your book yesterday. Thank you for all of your comments. You got it, Terry. Thank you so much for getting the book. For those of you who got Keto Flex, please leave it a rating and review on uh, Amazon. It really makes a big difference for the sh for the uh, getting the book into more hands. All right, Judy, Keto Camp Academy member. Hi from I Iowa. What does the Keto Rash look like? My husband has reduced carbs and now has rash on his shins. He isn't completely keto, eats similar to me. Yeah, if you do a Google search for a keto rash, you'll see it. It just looks like a rash. It could be itchy. Uh, it could be some bumps, some red bumps. That's what it looks like. So, Judy, the same thing will apply for your husband. Have him increase his bitters. I know you have bind, so maybe he takes three to four bind before bed um, and then go up. He might be a good candidate for my detox program taking place in June as well. 
Justin, can you, hey Ben, can you recommend calorie macro ratio for building muscle while following keto lifestyle? I'm 41, five foot five, 190 pounds. Thank you. Yeah, I don't really like to focus on calories and macros um, just because I think it's a distraction. But when you want to build muscle, there needs to be a surplus in combination with good sleep, fixing the gut, strength training. So there are some calculators online that you could put your information in. It'll let you know what's your basal metabolic rate, how much you need, and then what could be a surplus for you to do that. But there's three principles here. If you want to gain lean muscle, if you want to gain healthy weight, there's three principles to follow. So this is going to be important for you, Justin. Number one, fix the gut. Work on healing the gut because guess what? If you're eating more protein, more calories, more macros, but you can't assimilate those nutrients, it's going to be very difficult to put on muscle and to put on healthy weight. So you want to do some, some things to fix the gut. Take some digestive enzymes. Do something like carnivore. Carnivore could be great for the gut. Maybe take Ion Gut Restore for Zach Bush. Second thing is sleep. You don't build muscle in the gym. You don't burn fat in the gym. You do it during sleep. So make sure you get seven hours of quality sleep. And the third principle is to lift heavy weights, strength train, which I'm sure you're doing, Justin. So I'm, not, I'm sorry I can't give you a specific answer there. I just tend not to focus on that. Go check out GC3 Fitness on Instagram and YouTube, and he might give you some more specific details. He helps guys put on lean muscle. Okay. Okay, George says, brother, should I just do the seven days to get max autophagy and stay in it for a while? Definite do five possible. Love you, man. Love you too, George. Yeah, George, I think you don't, you probably don't even have to do the seven days to hit max autophagy. You could get it probably in three to five days. So monitor each day. Once you hit max autophagy, then I would stay in that fasted state if it was me for another day just to get those healing benefits. And then I would break it. If that takes six days, then yeah, you would go to seven days. But if you get there on day four, then you would break it on day five. I hope that makes sense. Howdy from East Texas. Good to see you. East Texas in the house. Um, audiobook will be out in June. That's what I'm aiming for. Gabriel, Gab Gabriel joined the challenge. Uh, Trina joined the challenge. Monica joined the challenge. I love it. I love it. So you're going to have those who join, check your email out. You're going to have a link for the Facebook group. Everything is going to happen in that Facebook group. And then we also have an opportunity for you to upgrade to the starter kit and to the VIP. That's optional for you to do that. Christine joined. Irene joined. I love it. The challenge is in the Facebook group. So if you want to join the challenge, go to ketocampchallenge.com and you could get signed up for that. Yeah, you could join in the UK. It's going to be online. So anywhere in the world, you could join. And I know you all are busy. So if you cannot make the live stream, the replay will be there for that challenge. But if you want the recordings forever, you would have to upgrade to VIP. But the challenge re recordings will be there during the duration of those seven days. But there, we are going to reward those who make the live calls. That's at the beginning of every live stream for the challenge, we're going to be doing the giveaways. And we've had companies like Cattle on Fire, Revelation Health. Um, these companies donated over $10,000 worth of products. And we're going to be giving them all the way to you at the beginning of every live stream. So every, all of you could join anywhere in the world. It's completely free, ketocampchallenge.com. George, I'm challenged. <laughs> Day 52 of the carnivore diet. Amazing job, Raminkla. You're the best, Lissandra and Sean. Love you all. The brow effect. If any of you are in Miami, especially the ladies out there, and you want to get your eyebrows done, facials done, the eye, the brow effect in Miami is the way to do it. They're incredible. Lissandra and Sean, love you too. They are doing amazing work, and they are the go-to in Miami. Violet says, Ben, I just got your book. Oh my goodness, I'm a homeschool mom, so I'm using it in my curriculum. Thank you for all that you do. That is amazing. That just lights me up. I'm so grateful that you're using it and you're homeschooling, so thank you for that. Sandra says, Ben, is it, necessarily, is it necessary to get the keto meter to measure ketones? Let's talk about that. Let me just take a sip of some electrolytes here. Okay. Um, there's three ways to test ketones. There is beta hydroxybutyrate, which is found in the blood. It's so like a finger prick. There is acetone, which is in the breath. So like a breath meter. And then there's acetoacetate, which is in the urine. 
Urine strips are not accurate. Let's stop measuring ketones in the urine because when the body and the brain is efficient at using the ketones, which is what we want, it won't spill out in the urine. So let's eliminate that. Breath could be accurate if you're using a machine like Biosense. They're terrific. And if you want to get $20 off their machine, use Keto Camp at checkout over at mybiosense.com. But then we have blood, which is kind of the gold standard. So do you need to get that? No. Will it be helpful? Yes. But here are some signs to pay attention to. If you could skip a meal and you feel great, you actually have more energy, more focus, you're not hangry, that's a sign you're probably fat adapted and you're in ketosis, okay? But if you really want to test and you want to get those machines, the breath or the blood, like Keto Mojo, if you hit 0.5 or higher on the Keto Mojo, you're in ketosis. If you don't want to prick your finger, get the Biosense device. What times are the, what are the times for the live streams? It'll be every day at 10 a.m. Eastern time and 4 p.m. Eastern time. The live streams are going to be somewhere between two to three hours. So I blocked out my entire week. So did Alina and the Keto Camp team to make sure we're there for you. And we're dedicating that entire week, May 17th through May 24th, to deliver you the best keto challenge you're ever going to be a part of. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. So 10 a.m. Eastern time and then 4 p.m. Eastern time, we're gonna be live with you. Cade Collins, good to see you, brother. Is two tablespoons of cream in my coffee going to break my fast? Great question. So coffee and cream will break some of the digestive benefits from a fast, but you're still probably gonna get most of the benefits. So how you would know, the most accurate way to know is to test your glucose, your blood glucose, right before you have the coffee and cream. And then have your coffee and cream. 30 minutes later, test your blood glucose again. If you see it rise more than five points uh, for more than three days in a row on average, then yes, it's breaking the autophagy. It's breaking your fast. But for some people, you don't get that rise and you're totally good, but you got to test to know uh, for sure. Robin Lopez, I've been doing keto pretty consistently for the past year. At times, I'm in good ketosis. I noticed when I eat low-carb salad for lunch, my ketones would drop very low from 1.0 to 0.2 for several hours. Why is that? Uh, are you ch checking your glucose? It could be that your low-carb salad might have some higher oxalate vegetables that might be causing a glucose response. So see what's happening with your glucose because when glucose goes up, ketones drop. Now, it's normal for ketones to fluctuate, but it seems like it's knocking you out of ketosis. So maybe having some um, more fat with that keto low-carb salad could do the trick for you. Maybe add some olive oil or some coconut oil or I mean like a shot of MCT oil. That could help keep your ketones up. That might be the trick for you. Kiki Evans, I'm 32. Good to see you back on here, Kiki. I know you were here last week. Uh, I just got my blood work done and my cholesterol LDL was crazy and my doctor prescribed a medication. I've also had low cholesterol, so I know it's keto related, but it, is it actually unhealthy? Is there a way to lower without medication? I do mainly vegetarian keto and use healthy oils and fats. All right, Kiki, great question. Very important question. So what I'm about to share will should not replace the advice from your doctor, but here's the deal. LDL cholesterol, low density lipoprotein, has been called bad cholesterol, but that's not accurate. LDL is split up into two different particles. You have small and sticky particles, and you have large and fluffy. Sounds like your doctor didn't distinguish between the two. They kind of lumped it together. The only way to distinguish is a test called the NMR lipid panel, which is looking, it's NMR stands for nuclear magnetic resonance. It's looking at your particle sizes. So you want, if it's the large and fluffy that are high, that's okay. That goes freely, freely through your arteries. But if it's small and sticky, that can be an issue in combination with high inflammation. So cholesterol is very complex, Kiki. I would recommend you watch, you go on YouTube and type in keto camp cholesterol. And I have a video which breaks down lab work. We want to look at the entire picture here, inflammatory markers and your entire lipid profile. I personally would not get on a statin. I would not get on a medication. By the way, more people die with heart disease who have normal to low cholesterol than high cholesterol. 
So it's inflammation, that's the culprit. Get your C-reactive protein done, get your homocysteine done, get your fibrinogen done, get your A1C done, get your fasting insulin done. Those are inflammatory markers. If those are all up and your LDL's up, then that could be an issue. David Spears, good to see you on here as you're usually on here. Thank you so much for all of your inspiration. For me, keto has been a lifesaver. Reversed my prediabetes, prostate cancer is in remission, blood pressure normalized, no more, no more meds, reversed fatty liver disease, joint pain and sciatica is gone, hay fever is gone, ED, a thing of the past, and I lost 85 pounds on the way. All of the health benefits far outweigh the weight loss in my mind. Thank you on behalf of everyone for leading us on the good way to health. That is incredible, David. Dude, I am so proud of you. You are the perfect example of the human body. The human body is incredible. It's capable of healing. I talk about it in my book. As long as you follow three principles, identify the interference, which you did, work on removing the interference, which you're doing, and then allow your body to heal. So thank you for that inspiring post. I'm so glad your body's healing and you're so right. The weight loss is a side effect of your body healing. Congratulations. I am so proud of you. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, great work. Great, great work. Really, what is the best natural carbs to have on a flex day? Good to see you, Edna, George's uh, wife. Um, in the book, Keto Flex, I have an entire list, but you want to have more fruit and squash and sweet potatoes. Those are going to be better for a Keto Flex day. Dr. Mindy Peltz has just started a fast training week on autophagy. Go listen to her. She's got a ton of amazing information as well. Yes, yes, and heck yes. If you're not following Dr. Mindy Peltz, you got to do it right now. She's an amazing colleague of mine. I love her to death. Uh, go follow her, Dr. Mindy Peltz, on YouTube, on Instagram. She has the Resetter podcast. I was a guest a couple of times. She's amazing. So I completely agree with you. I, have, I still have high insulin resistance and 60 pounds to lose. Can I do alternate day fasting for three weeks of my cycle and then flex with healthy carbs the last week of my cycle? That sounds like a good approach. I would also look into toxicity, Char, and everybody on here, because I'm, I estimate that 33% of insulin resistance and diabetes is just toxicity related. Uh, so go to ketocampdetox.com to learn more. But I like that approach. It could do you do you well. Randy, I have, Randy says, I have severe or several autoimmune conditions and started keto a couple of years ago, hoping it would help. It really hasn't. Just had blood tests and it shows high LDH and high ferritin. Did keto contribute to this? Dirty keto can contribute to that. You know what I've seen, Randy? I've seen carnivore do wonders for autoimmune disease, my, for myself included. So I would recommend you get my book, Keto Flex, and do the pillars. Pillar number three, I have an entire chapter on carnivore. Carnivore could be a great way to heal the gut and really help with autoimmune disease. It did for me as well. So that's what I would recommend for you. All right, hit the thumbs up button here on YouTube and Facebook if you haven't done so already. I want to remind you again, my Keto Camp Challenge is on May 17th, and you can sign up right now. Go to ketocampchallenge.com to register your free spot. Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, I'm live with you right here on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitch. So please set a reminder, join me next week. We'll do another live stream and I can't wait to see you in the Keto Camp uh, Kickstart Challenge taking place in just a couple of weeks. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. Share this video with a friend. Share my work with your friends. Please listen to the Keto Camp podcast if you listen to the podcast. And I just want to say how much I love you all. If I missed your question, I apologize. Maybe I can get to it on the next live stream. But thank you so much. I'm grateful for all of you. Have an amazing rest of your day. Stay in love. Stay in gratitude. Refuse to live in that world of fear. Stay in your lane of gratitude and love. 